We have a new giant anteater, Mr. Pickles, uh, recently went out on exhibit and just the other day we uh, added three Patagonian Mara to join him on exhibit. They actually came from the same institution, so they lived together before, so this is kind of like some old friends getting back together, so they are doing very well together. The anteater population is a managed population, so when you want to get involved in those programs, you petition to the coordinator of the program and ask if there's an animal available. And our timing was really good, and so we were able to arrange to get Mr. Pickles from a nearby institution. A lot of stuff went into preparing for his arrival. First, we had to do some renovations to the exhibit. We also did some renovations to our holding area, so there was a large team effort from keeper staff, uh, horticulture, maintenance, and even groups of volunteers that just came in to make this happen. He gets a small uh, grain pellet that he's able to pick up with his tongue. That gives him most of his nutrients. He also gets uh, some mega worms, which are like giant mealworms. Oranges and avocados are special favorites. Uh, but he does actually, you know, dig around his exhibit and find ants, termites, and other bugs out there that he is catching. There was actually a tree in that exhibit that died, and we sort of left it there because the anteaters do love to basically shred the deadfall in searching for ants and termites and other little tasty bugs for them to eat. It's entertaining and it's also a great way to showcase some of his natural behaviors with the strong claws that they have to, you know, rip into dead logs and stumps. He just seems to be especially, you know, interested in exploring his exhibit and, you know, checking out things and interacting with the keepers. He's not, you know, afraid of us. I think he is going to be a great addition to the zoo and we're happy to have him.